Hey dolls, this is Risa. I wanted to make a quick video about my new favorite foundation. I am in love with this foundation. And um, I've tried everything. I've tried the MAC, I've tried NARS, Chanel, every single foundation at the drugstore, everything that you can think of. And after about a month, I usually get tired of it or for some reason the color changes or just doesn't look the same. So I finally found my match made in heaven of foundation. The Kat Von D Lock In Tattoo Foundation. Now, um, for those of you who are not familiar with Kat Von D, she's actually a celebrity tattoo artist and um, foundation is just heaven sent. Now, they also have the concealer and um, but I find that I actually don't need to use a concealer when I use this foundation because it's pretty much a all-in-one. So let me start with the box. It comes with in a really pretty box just beautiful little box and I have to say out of all the foundations that I have this is probably like the prettiest bottle I don't know if it's because she's a tattoo artist or what but her bottle is really cute it's this cute little bottle and has a little dispenser and you just squeeze down just beautiful and I am a medium 62 now this foundation is a 24 hour wear foundation which um I don't know why anybody would want to wear foundation for 24 hours, but um, I never have, so I couldn't tell you if it works or not. But um, I don't know. Maybe some people need to. But like I said, this is a full coverage foundation, 24 hour, transfer resistant, matte finish, fragrance free, oil free, and it's for all skin types. And when I tell you that this foundation does what it says it's going to do, except for the 24 hours that I haven't tested, but um, it is a matte foundation. Um, and my advice is if you have dry skin like myself, make sure that you moisturize your skin. Uh, make sure that you exfoliate your skin because it is a matte foundation. So if your face is just naturally dry, you want it to be exfoliated. You want it to be moisturized before you apply this. The um, next thing I want to talk about when it comes to this foundation is that you only need one drop. I have it on right now. This is one drop, like literally one little tiny drop of this foundation for my whole face. You only need one drop. Um, I'm going to post a picture of, um, I covered up my tattoo. I have tattoos on my wrist. And um, I um, originally bought this to cover up my tattoos. And then I decided, well, let me, it is a foundation. Let me try it on on my face. And I just fell in love with it. So because it is meant to like cover tattoos and everything, this is perfect if you have really dark circles, if you have acne scarring or anything that you want to cover up because this bad boy will cover up pretty much anything. So if, you don't have you know acne scarring or anything that you just want a nice foundation that gives you a nice clean matte finish you literally only need one drop and what I love about this you can build it up you can use more in problem areas like I have some freckles and like little moles on the side of my face that I like to cover up and I'll use a little bit more on that side so you can really build it up really nicely and you really don't need to set it but I still do I still use my MAC skin finish powder to set it but you really don't need it and it is a very breathable, breathable, I'm sorry, my accent's coming out. It's a very breathable foundation. Um, it's very light. I mean, you don't even feel like you have anything on. And um, I just love it. I really don't have anything negative to say about it. Out of all the foundation, like I said, that I've tried, this is my favorite one. It retails for $34, but honestly, $34 and you're only using like one drop to do your whole face, at the most, maybe two drops. Like, and when I say two drops, I literally mean two drops maybe. But I've always, I used, I, the first time I used it, I put two drops and then um, I realized it was just too much. I was done applying all over my face and I still had a whole bunch of extra left over on my hand. So... 
just for one drop, like you get your money's worth, basically. Um, the other thing is, I don't recommend using a foundation brush with this. This applies much better with a sponge. So, like I was saying, this, I would not use a foundation brush for this. I find that when you use a foundation brush, it kind of gets streaky. It's not really a nice application. I would definitely recommend using a sponge for this. Now, you can use the also oh popular Beauty Blender for $19 at Sephora. <coughs> Overpriced. Or you can do like me. I actually bought a Beauty Blender um, dupe at Marshalls, either Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but they always have them. If you go to like the beauty section in Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Ross, they always have like the Beauty Blender dupes for like $4.99. I think I paid like $5 for mine. And those work just as well. Like I love mine. I'm on my second one and I just love it. It just applies nice and evenly. You know, no need to spend $19 on a sponge. But I definitely recommend using a sponge. I think the application is more even, it's more, it absorbs better, and it's just a nicer, uh, it does something for the coverage and everything, and you can, you know, blend it in better with a sponge um, rather than your finger or a foundation brush. So the only thing I don't like, cat honey, we need to talk. This foundation only comes in 14 shades. Fourteen shades. So, and I am a medium sixty-two. So I think there was only one sh medium shade after mine, and then only four deep shades. And those weren't even like the darkest shades that they had. So that's the only thing that you, cat, you need to add more shades. Like, I mean, 14 shades is just not enough. Like, you're leaving, like, out a whole demographics of potential customers because you don't have enough shades. So, the only thing is she does not have a lot of darker shades. You know, it's like I said, I was, I'm medium 62 and there's only one shade after me and then it's like four deep shades, four or five deep shades, I'm not sure. So, that's the only downside to this foundation is that she doesn't have enough shades. But if you're familiar with any of, other than that, if you're familiar with any of Kat Von D's products, all of her products are highly pigmented. Whether it be her eyeshadows, her lipsticks are gorgeous, beautiful, vibrant colors. And um, of course now this foundation that I am absolutely in love with. Um, she also has concealers. Now I... Didn't buy the concealer because I ended up using this alone. Like I don't have a concealer on right now. And what I did was that the areas that I usually use my concealer on, I just applied more foundation on it. So I really, when I use this foundation, I really don't need any concealer because I apply like evenly all over my face and just the pr problematic areas that I want to cover up, I just put more of it on. Like I just apply a little bit more of it and it blends beautifully. So. I think that's it. Yeah, so definitely my new fave. I think I'm getting ready to throw all my other foundations out the door because I'm in love with this product. So make sure you subscribe to my channel right down here and check out my blog, www.teresaidea.com. Um, and also check out my website, www.emeraldcheek.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Mademoiselle Reese. Or on Instagram at Impress Risa. So let me know if you have any questions or any concerns or anything that you'd like to know. Just leave me a comment down below. All right, dolls. See you later.